Hello guys, you will be seeing a C code for adjacency list representation of a directed or undirected graphs in this video. So first of all, we should have a basic knowledge about graphs. So what is a graph? So we would give, give a brief introduction about graphs. So graphs are nothing but it is a data structure that consists of two components. First, it, contain, it contains a finite set of vertices. Second, it contains a finite set of ordered pairs which are of the form UV. These are also called edges. So what does a graph consist of? It consists of two components which are number of vertices which are set of vertices and set of edges which comprises a whole graph. So let's illustrate it with an example. So what a graph consists of set of vertices and set of edges. So let's say these are the vertices 1, 2 and 3 and 4. So the lines which connect them form the edges of the graph. So these are called vertices of the graph and these are called the edges of the graph. So now we have a Now we have a brief knowledge about graphs. So let's get to this. So why we said these are the ordered pairs? Ordered pair because here the order matters. Because if you will say that 1, 2 is an edge, you can't say always that 2, 1 is also, will also form an edge. So we will see now in which graphs we can say that 1, 1, 2 is same as 2, 1, where the order does not matter. Where we can say that if there is an edge from 1 to 2, there is an edge from 2 to 1 also. So these are typically, let's say, we have two types of graphs for this. First is undirected graphs. These have a pair of unordered vertices. Here UV is same as view. Let's say, we can say in these type of graphs as 1, 2 is same as 2, 1. For example, in this graph, 1, 2 is an edge, 2, 1 is also an edge. Because we aren't, uh, we, are, we are allowed to go anywhere in this graph. So, 1, 2 is same as 2, 1 in this graph. So, these type of graph forms in undirected graphs. What we call them? Undirected graphs. So if we allot directions to them, let's say, if we are given these type of directions, here 1, 2 is not same as 2, 1. You are allowed to go from 1 to 2. 1, 2 forms an edge, but 2, 1 not forms an edge. Does not form an edge. Why 2, 1 does not form an edge? Because you are not allowed to go from 2 to 1. But you are allowed to go from 1 to 2. Alright, so 1, 2 is an edge, but 2, 1 is not an edge. So these type of graphs where we are allowed to go in one direction, in the direction which we are given, we, can, we are allowed to go in that direction only, we call that type of graphs directed graphs. So if we allow directions to the undirected graph, that becomes directed graph. So this was all about graphs. Now we will see its representation how we can represent a, uh, represent a graph so we will be seeing now how we can represent a graph we can represent a graph using with the help of two methods so first is with the help of adjacency list and second one is with the help of adjacency matrix so in this video we will be seeing how we can represent a graph using adjacency list what we will do to represent a graph using a adjacency list. So what we will do? So let's say if we have a graph that have vertices, let's say it has five vertices, and this graph let's say is an undirected one, we are allowed to go anywhere through the edges. We can go from one to two, we can also go from two to one also. So this is an undirected graph. So let's say it's, if this is a graph, 
so if we want to represent this graph using adjacency list what we will do is so we will create an array of linked list we will create an array of linked list and that the size of the array would be the number of vertices that we have in a graph so in this graph we have five vertices so our array size would be five so this would be an array and this would this array would correspond this array would be the array of linked list so each entry in the array would correspond to the linked list like this this would be pointing to a linked list this would also point to a linked list this entry would also point to a linked list this entry would also point to a linked list so what what would be contained in that linked list so each entry in the array would be the set of vertices let's say we have five vertices so each entry in this would correspond to the word linked list of vertices which are adjacent to one so what are the vertices that are adjacent to one these are two and five right so this entry would correspond to the linked list which will contain vertices two and five that were adjacent to one Similarly for 2, what are the vertices that are adjacent to 2? These are 1 and 3, right? So this entry would correspond to the vertices that are adjacent to 2. These are 1 and 3. This would point to null. This will also point to null. Similarly for 3, what are the vertices that are adjacent to 3? These are 4 and 2, right? So this would be forming a linked list correspond to correspond corresponding to the adjacent vert, uh, vertices to 3 so these were 4 and 2 so we created a linked list with 4 and 2 we attached this to 3 similarly for 4 what are the adjacent vertices to 4 these are 3 and 5 so we would attach we will attach 3 and 5 and we will form a link list with that similarly for 5 so what are the adjacent vertices to 5 these are 1 and 4 so we will be forming a link list that would contain vertices that are adjacent to 5 so this is what a graph will look like if we would represent it in the form of adjacency list now we will be seeing a C code for representing a graph using adjacency list.